Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to remove TikTok violation on your account. First thing you want to do, you want to launch the TikTok app. Then you want to hit on the lower right corner where it says profile. Then you want to head to the top right corner and click on the three straight lines. Then you want to hit on the settings and privacy. Now you want to scroll all the way to the button and you want to click on the section that it says report a problem. Don't lose your time trying to find popular questions and answers. Don't lose your time trying to find a topic because this is simply not what is actually going to help you. This is passive generated information data by potentially what might be your issue and potentially what might be your solution. This is not what we're looking at. You want to scroll all the way to the bottom and you want to click submit report. This is where we are actually going to submit our own report and stating why we have this issue and why this issue is wrong and it's mistake. Let's presume that your video has been taken down for violation. Could be any, any reason for it. Somebody might report your video. You might have some graphics. You might be like a copyright or something. All we got to do is to write down a detailed explanation why your video has the right to be on the platform. Second, you need to utilize the pictures in the video section beneath over here, up to four pictures and up to one video. I want you to place a comparison video with a screenshot to show that this type of content is allowed and is still available on TikTok platform. And your, and your, <coughs> and your video simply has to be alongside these videos. With the video section here, I want you to upload, upload a very, very important scrolling through the feed to show that there is a huge demand for this type of content. I want you to go after the hashtags and after the trends, especially if you use a particular sound. You want to make sure that you want to prove that you're following the TikTok guidance. You're not going against them. You're not doing anything that is wrong. All this will valid your reasoning for having your video reinstated and having your account removed if you had a particular restrictions. Because sometimes the issues that you have are not obvious. Your account might be shadow banned and you're not going to get notified for. You're just going to see that the performance of your videos is extremely down. It hits maximum of 200 or 300 videos every single video, right? So you understand that something is wrong. This is how you can actually reach out to them and you can report the issue. Don't try to reach out to them through Facebook or Twitter. None of these platforms work. This is the only way you can actually provide evidences, state, give links, you know, and they can actually follow up. So first thing I want to say that you don't need to have a specific skill in 2024 to be able to make it. I see that there is a new trend on TikTok. Now people are simply sharing their experience. So essentially, you can just start a brand new page in which you will share your experience on the daily life encounters. For example, I had lunch there. I had breakfast there. I joined this course. I did this program. I, you know, sign up for this group of people. I started, you know, running. I start experimenting this. So all we got to do for you, this is a brand new trend. I've seen three or four different accounts in which are simply bombarding. This is how Alex Hermosi started. If you go all the way up to the top and you see his most, 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 most popular videos are the one who actually were from the beginning. If you click popular, right? Look at his videos. These are videos that are very old. Just look at how he looks like, right? So these are the videos that he was talking from his own personal experience, how he uh, encounter business obstacles in personal life, how he actually, you know, deal with them. So sharing personal experience, it's obviously one of the biggest trends. And do you see how far he went? He was having maybe 40, 50,000 followers. When I watched this video and this video was like life was like just published, just imagine. And fast forward, we are what one and a, and a half year after that, he's already seeing an almost 800,000 followers. And it's not only him. Just think about what, what Andrew Tate did, right? He was sharing personal experience. He was sharing experience about traveling with a, with a, with a commercial plane, 
uh, he was sharing experience about being here, being there, what is it like to become a, a you know professional kickbox champion, what was the experience being in, in Big Brother, right? So all these personal experiences are much more valuable. Personal experience, I believe, are the one that actually replaced the paid courses for doing this or doing that. Now people sharing their life expectancy, right? They're saying that, you know, I tried these businesses and I failed. I was this, I was that. And this is what actually made me stronger. And people got hyped, people got motivated. And this is my advice for you guys. If you really stumble upon and you cannot find any particular skill, you don't have some nice, interesting, you know, job at the moment. You don't have a business that you're working on. You don't have some crazy, you know, hobby or, you know, stories to tell. Just just be open and share your experience. People value much more experience at this point because experience, it's essentially the lessons that you have learned based on the real life, right? This is no uh, science fiction. So go ahead and start publishing on a daily basis. My advice is one to three pieces of content and just be honest. People will appreciate that. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can come up with viral TikTok ideas to make videos from, okay? And the secret of success is that you don't go on TikTok to look for these ideas. You're going on Pinterest. We're going on Pinterest and then you go on the lower left corner. You're going to see there is a small magnifying glass. And then you go and go on the search bar and you're gonna type TikTok video ideas. Okay. And this is where you're going to find everything that you wanna be focusing on. If you look at all the top, you have the small categories, right? For different niches where you can gain inspiration, right? Also, you can scroll down and look for a particular type of, of content that is similar to what you really want to do, right? There are people who are, uh, you know, doing a lifestyle videos. There are people who are doing like uh, educational videos, people who are doing review videos. And all these are ideas for you. And you can see that some of the videos actually get much more engagement. This video on the left like has 400 uh, likes versus some other videos they don't have any but it still can generate a good ideas over here and see what people like and what people simply don't interact with this is the pro tip because everyone else will be looking for tiktok ideas on tiktok you're gonna be looking for tiktok ideas on pinterest this is what gonna give you this leverage for more tips like this guys subscribe and like this video hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how you can promote your videos on TikTok by simply using the built-in function in the app itself. This is something very few people know about. And this is how you can potentially get viral, okay? Let's launch the TikTok app. And let me show you where this actually is hidden. First thing you wanna do, you wanna click on the lower right corner at your profile picture. Then when you have the landing page open of your account, you want to go ahead and click on the upper right corner at the three straight lines. Then click on creator tools in the first option. So now guys, if you scroll down to the section that is called more tools, there is a second option, which is like a small fire, like a Kindle icon. You want to click on it. When you click promote, you are able to essentially select any of your videos and you'll be getting at least 1,000, 2,000 or 11,000 or 24,000 views by simply paying for it, okay? Me personally, I'm getting a coupon from the app. I'm not sure you guys are going to get it. Uh, it depends, I don't know, of the location probably or depends of the, of the, of the usage or whatever. But you want to make sure that you go ahead and check out. And this is where you're going to select, you see, product selection. You can simply click switch video and you can, you know, scroll through your content and pick which video you want to promote. But essentially, this is it. I don't know, is it worth it uh, just uh, in the money-wise? 
I don't know, thousand views will thousand views get you the five dollars back or six dollars back? I don't know, guys. Depending of the content, but this is how you promote videos on TikTok. For more tips like this, guys, subscribe and like this video. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to check your TikTok analytics on your videos so you understand what works and what doesn't. Let's launch a TikTok app first. Then I want you to go on your profile and I want you to pick a video that is the most common content that you publish on your page, okay? Let's take uh, this video for example over here. There are two options to access it. First of all, you can click over here on the lower right side where it says more insights. Or you can click on the three dots over here and then click analytics on the third option over here. Let's click analytics and let's take a look what this video is telling us. First of all, you're going to look at the performance. Uh, the performance section simply shows you how many plays this video got, right? How many likes, how many comments, how many shares, how many saves. The total playtime, this is sum up of the whole 307 views that they have. The total playtime is over one hour. How much people on average watch the video when they actually click 15.8 seconds, right? Watched full video. Only 20% of these 307 people actually watched this video. 20%. Not so bad if you're asking me. The next section will show you how many followers did you actually gain by posting this video. In our case, there is zero followers. And this is comparable versus the last day to the very first day you publish the video. Then you will see the chart or the graph how the videos were actually distributed since you published the video. As you can see over here, uh, there isn't a gradual uh, uh, uptrend or downtrend. You simply uh, had a major bump when the video was published, 300 uh, views in a matter of, of two days and that was it. But even though TikTok will always compare your most recent update to the uh, video that you're currently analyzing. So if you, if you can see over here, according to TikTok analytics, this video still gets 34 more views than usual. So this video still does a very good job. The next section over here is showing you the retention, where people are clicking off the video. When you actually uh, you know, analyze and pay very close attention, you could figure it out that you know, people are probably expecting to see something and when they, when you look at the graph and see that, you know, very, very little people, at the end, only 17% are still watching versus, uh, you know, 85% at the opening, at the first second of the video. So the retention graph represents how people are, uh, you know, happy or sad of what they actually find out because everyone comes with particular expectations. The last option over here is again the traffic source where are your viewers found the video watch the video and how the video actually was uh, promoted or served or represented on the platform as you can see 97.7 percent comes from the for you page this is the recommendations uh, this is what youtube essentially uh, you know recommends people to watch on their feed people who are not following me the second uh, part over here of the analytics is actually more interesting. This is in-depth breakdown of the followers, the, the, the gender of the followers, the amount of followers that actually interact with. You will see the gender here, majority of which are male, only 8% female. As you can see, we have a full breakdown of the ages of the followers or the viewers of this particular video. Uh, we also have uh, a locations, top locations. And we also have a city breakdown, right? We have by cities, people, where they're watching and where they're interacting with. But essentially, guys, you want to make sure you analyze the data and you want to make sure that you're taking notes. I understand this is a lot of information, but if you take notes on a piece of paper on the site, you will be able to analyze and we will be able to fix a lot of the issues. Like we saw with the whole retention. Uh, with the amount of viewers that are watching to the at least half of the video, if not to the end of the video. And you also want to make sure that people are really satisfied and engaged and have really fun uh, time spending here on your page. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and come back for more. 
Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to promote your videos, your pictures and your products by simply using the promo feature on the TikTok app. Let's launch a TikTok app, click on the lower right corner first guys, then you want to click on the upper right and click on the three straight lines. Then you want to click on the first option which is creator tools. When you're over here guys, I want you to come over here on the second menu which is relation towards uh, making money and monetization. So the second menu over here, more tools, gives you the option to promote. If you click on promote, you will see how everything actually works. So this is, first of all, part of your videos will appear over here. So you can switch and you can pick another video to promote uh, from your current published videos, right? The second thing that you want to pay attention to is that the, there are different promotional pack. You're getting different things if you pay different money, which I believe is not new. So the main idea over here is that if you want to get a 1000 plus views, it will cost you $5.83. If you want to get over here, as you can see, plus 2000 views, it will cost you around $12. Plus 6,000 views, it will cost you, I know, $35. And 24,000 views, it will cost you $139. Again, very important uh, thing over here is that first time when you use a TikTok, is giving you a coupon over here. As you can see, I have a coupon which uh, downsized the, the actual cost with $3.50. What I see over here is that it looks like it is very expensive to run ads uh, this 1000 views you could probably get with uh, Instagram or Facebook ads probably you can you can do the, the same thing with with Twitter ads for a fraction of the cost probably it will cost you around two dollars two dollars fifty maybe three dollars max to get this okay so uh, there is a upscale over here and I don't see a reason for you why you would promote a, a video which does not include a product, right? It has to be a sales pitch. It cannot be simply, you know, going out for hours or viewers. The next section over here is your dashboard. This is where you're going to see the conversion. You will be able to, uh, you know, compute the cost per acquisition, how much it costs you to generate a new follower or to generate a new views. Because you saw this is an approximate amount they give you. They don't say that this is the flat amount of views you're going to get. Uh, also, you're going to get how many likes, how many shares. Then you can compare your uh, natural organic performance versus the paid one. Okay. And the last section over here, it's mine. Uh, this is essentially where you will be able to see what uh, coupons are available for you to use given by TikTok. And then you will be able to see the reward center, which uh, over here, they will show you, okay, you you spent thousand dollars, we gave you hundred dollars worth of coupons, you save hundred bucks, something like this, nothing crazy. And then you have another functions over here, for example, uh, if you want to pay for someone else's promotion, right? Uh, or you want to create a separate department in your business, you want to hire someone to do all this, you want simply to add him and uh, you want to add a manager someone who will be managing all this and who will be creating the ads and it's like that it's like you're hiring someone to manage your uh, instagram page or manage your twitter account or manage your overall social media again guys i don't think it's too it's too crazy uh, probably if you if you have a, a tiktok shop and if you want to promote and run tiktok ads maybe you will have a better uh, out, output sure People are looking for different results, but in my opinion, you will get the best uh, money for your buck if you probably try uh, to scale down on particular niche rather than going for the randomness. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and come back for more.